Good evening, everyone. In this video, I'd like to read about whether they hide their true feelings from you, meaning that do, do they secretly love you? And uh, yeah, so I have five tarot card decks in front of me. Number one, two, three, four, and five. Please I think of a person and choose a deck if you'd like to participate in this reading. And take your time. Have you chosen? So let's start with the deck number one. Okay, do they hide their true feelings from you? Okay, so... Um, we see here five of wands, devil, and six of pentacles. So I, I feel that they are not uh, the usual person. They're not the usual person. I think you might have some disagreements with that person, uh, maybe some fights. Um, it can be that they might have a temper or might come up as um, not threatening, but something like that. And the devil card as well kind of um, confirms it. They might look like they hide true feelings. I think they might come up as someone mysterious and unusual and a little different. Uh, but, you know, six of discs, um, in this deck particular, you know, I think, uh, like, they have some purpose, or they have some, they live, like, in their own world. They, uh, I don't think they hide the true feelings, to be honest. I think, you know, this Buddha who is meditating under the tree is basically with open eyes meditating. Maybe he's practicing the presence or, or, or whatever. But he doesn't look like he's hiding anything. He looks very comfortable for me. Although this devil, we see him here as well. I think it's not hiding the true feelings is more uh, controlling, being ethical. Maybe he has this inner demon within himself and he's trying to kind of work with himself so that he doesn't, uh, it doesn't control him, you know, that demon who is here behind him. We have the skull here and the beautiful girl is looking at him, maybe it's you. You know, and um, and you're looking at him and thinking, are you hiding your true feelings? What's what's up with you? We have a snake. I think it talks about seduction, all sorts of seductions. And he does have his demons, yeah? But he's aware of that, I think. And he's working with himself. He's not letting them true, uh, not letting them get out. How does he not letting them manifest? So... I think it's practicing not thinking about those certain things. Uh, I think it's more like it can be like sex, alcohol, drugs, anything, or maybe even using power against you, that sort of thing. And I think they, yeah. So, yes, in, in that way, we can see they, can, they hide their true feelings. Which, uh, but the true feelings are more like instincts that um, 
normal human being has somewhere deep down inside. And they're just um, trying to be civilized and normal. You know, do not, he, he doesn't let those demons um, get, uh, get out of hand, how to say. So, yeah, I would say they control it, but it's the basics. You know, what he's doing is not really, uh, he's not controlling his love. He's not controlling his love. He's controlling his maybe attraction, I would say. And also can be anger. Anger, attraction, those lower, lower emotions, how to say. So, yeah. Mm, okay. I hope this answered your question. Let's move on to the deck number two now. So those who chose deck number two, does he hide his true feelings? Whoops. that here it's a very similar situation i think look nine of cups is a wish card it's um him wanting you you wanting him probably it's the um, how to say liking each other and basically wanting each other now prince of wands Look, he's uh, now looking away from this all liking, from this all beauty, and he's kind of focusing on this <clears throat> this fight, this competition or something. Um, so this fight can indeed sometimes mean inner conflict and inner, you know, with himself he's fighting. So maybe there is a situation in your situation, you know, with your partner. Maybe there is... Um, some sort of dilemma that he's facing, uh, you know, from his perspective. It doesn't have to be that you're also facing the same dilemma, but maybe he's uh, having, like, inner doubts about the relationship or about the way it's done or about the details in that relationship that is, you know, kind of want to do it, but something's stopping him. So he is kind of in that conflict, in that inner conflict. So, does he hide his true feelings? It can be that he is um, he's not sure about his true feelings. So, he <clears throat> doesn't really know how to express that, how to say it. So, <clears throat> in that way, it can be he's hiding his true feelings because I think <clears throat> one side of him is kind of in conflict. One side of him is doubting the relationship, is not sure about something a part of it so yeah let's say in that perspective in that way he's hiding but it's not really something <clears throat> um very serious you know no secrets just inner can be a very deep psychological conflict we can ask what is a conflict about The hangman, like he is, uh, doesn't want. He's afraid of change. Maybe he's afraid of commitment. It can be that um, there's some sort of um, he wants to stop the thing. He wants to like think about it. He wants some time. You know, maybe he wants to work things out uh, for the best way that. Uh, maybe he wants to come up with some idea in this uh, area. So it can be that he's undecided, really, he needs some time. 
and again it doesn't have to do with you why is he we can ask why is he in this why does he need so much time princess of swords well it can be one meaning it can be that he really wants it to be the um, honest you know and true you know maybe there is some sort of moral issues ethical issues and he wants to be to do the right thing and that's why he takes time to think and find the right decision the other thing of course it can be that you had a conflict with him before and uh, because of that he needs time to think whether he should proceed and how to proceed or something like that so yeah um that's it i think here um, yeah, and I was thinking this was a page, actually, this is a night. If this is a night, it can talk about uh, some sort of separation or travel or distance that's separating you. And because of that, they're actually in this conflict. Okay. Deck number three. Same question. Does he hide his true feelings from you? Knight of Wands, Death and Prince of Swords. Does he hide his true feelings from you? No, actually, I think uh, <clears throat> this person is quite uh, expressive. So we feel this movement, lots of movement in every card. And I think he likes to actually say what they think. They're very blunt and straightforward. And I think this person really, they don't hide their true feelings. I think, but with the death card, it can be that um, now the Knight of Wands, again, I'm going to say that this is travel distance, uh, that um, the person moved away from you or you moved away from the person, maybe you've been separated again, and that made, um, maybe, uh, again, the separation time also has passed, and the death card can talk about that it's kind of over from their perspective, and that's why they're so cold. I actually feel that with these cards they're kind of cold and Prince of Swords is also very distant and blunt. So I think they actually mean it. They are, they are not hiding the true feelings here. I think they, um, it's, it's over for them. Like, and, they, and they're not hiding it. How to say. And I don't see anything, you know, within them left. Like... Uh, I'm more um, sensitive or emotional or you know, romantic. Yeah. Okay. So that's it. I guess clear. This is. Let's look at the deck number four. This is deck number four. Those who choose deck number four. Are they hiding the true feelings from you? again okay here I pulled four because one this card wanted to come with this card so so okay are they hiding the true feelings so you have ten of swords which indicates kind of the ending of in your relationship uh, knight of swords and the knight of wands also can indicate separation uh, moving away from each other and eight of pentacles is kind of the work card study card um, I don't feel again that they're hiding anything here 
I don't feel they're hiding, but I think they are thinking about some project or work that they have to do, or maybe a study or something like that. And maybe um, that's why they are in touch with you. That's why they want to, they, they're kind of looking friendly and, you know, wanting to communicate because it's for the work or some sort of common, common purpose. Um, you know, sometimes this card can also mean working on your relationship. So I can ask one more card, I can pull one more card to ask if this is actually, if there's any hope that they would like to recon reconcile or something. Okay, ask what are um, his intentions towards the querent? Uh, means you so nine of cups <clears throat> it can be uh it's it's a good card it can be that they want to spend time with you they really want to spend time with you yeah like they want to go out maybe have a social something meeting with you one more card I asked if they're in love with you and we got this knave of pentacles which is a page of pentacles and I think they, mm, they kind of they have something to offer uh, they want something from you but it's not love you know it's more like I think hang out or do some work together or maybe even financial interest if it makes sense um, so yeah yeah, I think it's not really strong love and <clears throat> it's more like they need something. They want, they have some interest in social, financial work interest in you. So yeah, I don't think they're hiding it either. But maybe if they're hiding it's something that they want for their project or work. Okay. Deck number five, same question, are they hiding the true feelings from you? Okay. Here, um, the chariot, five of coins. Here, immediately, I want one more card. Eight of coins again. Okay, so at first I thought with the moon card, the chariot is basically uh, action. It's uh, when the relationship is going smooth and there is like uh, when the person is approaching you and they are very determined. Well, it can indicate that the person, for example, you, you met through some transport or something. But then the moon and five of coins kind of, you know... Uh, I felt in the beginning like they have a soft corner for you. They have this dreamy thoughts about you, like missing, fantasizing. Maybe they uh, subconsciously, they kind of feel you, you know, emotionally. They kind of feel you like telepathically or something. And you have a connection, some sort of connection between, uh, between each other. You know, maybe you had dreams about this person. Maybe that person had dreams about you and you kind of feel like you're soulmates. Uh, maybe this, you have a connection between each other. Like a uh, very surreal connection. And maybe those experiences, you know, that surreal experiences with that person, maybe uh, they kind of make you think that they're hiding something from you. But another meaning can be, of course, a moon. Is that uh, it's in your head, you know, of course. Um, but I will go with the first meaning here because that's the first one that I thought of. And uh, 
And now I wanted to explanation actually what's really happening here. And I got eight of coins and four of coins, which both actually talk about uh, very practical matters like work and finances and safety, security. So, so I feel that maybe they kind of have that feeling, that connection to you on a soul level, but I don't think if they are really seriously intending to uh, really, to, how to say, like propose you on anything serious, you know? Anything like, I'm not saying this is not serious. I'm not saying this is not serious. So, yeah. So, okay, in that sense, uh, let's say if the person has to, you have to work together, for example, and uh, the person doesn't want to risk their job or doesn't want to show it. Uh, of course, it can be that in that sense they are hiding it because uh, it's in their head, but it's very deep down in their head, in their sub in the psyche, in their subconscious. But I kind of feel like you're very similar, like like you're meant to be or something, and they also know it. But um, it doesn't seem like they're going to do anything. So, yeah. Uh, let's say that, yeah, they're hiding in, in some way. Maybe they're hiding some dream or some sensation that they felt. But it's also, you know, everybody has it. So it's not a big deal also. So, yeah, um, that's it. Um, that was reading number five. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, thank you for watching my video so much. And hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.